Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube family? It's yours truly, Quentin Davis, coming to you guys live here at Davis Rock Rollers, guys. As you guys can tell, we have all the dogs outside as of right now. We got Lotto right here. We got our main man, Chewy, right there. We go a little further down, of course. We have Zoop. Awesome looking there. We got Dollar back there in the cut. We got Xena. Then we have our oldest female on the yard, which is Nina, guys. As you guys can tell, pens have not been cleaned out yet. Nothing like that. So getting ready to get on it. Just figured I'd do a video since we have everybody here. <laughs> We're gonna let them out one by one, let them run around, let them play a little bit. Um, a lot of us doing fine, a lot of us doing fine. I'll probably just let out a couple of the dogs at one time. I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying, let them rough house it too much. Not saying that they will, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I know the female dogs are gonna be more focused on sniffing her out, getting used to her scent. So we'll probably just let a couple of the male dogs out straighten out their pens do what we do best here and then you know just let them chill and run around a little bit i think the first one i'm gonna go ahead on and let out is going to be zoop and put my trust in him first we're gonna see how it goes guys what's up big boy what's up big boy good boy good boy Getting this smell on. This will be a future breeding. This will most definitely be a future breeding. We're going to tighten up on some things. Um, Lotto has some of what Zook has in the bottom. So, you know, we're going to tighten up on some of those traits. That's it, guys. This is her first time interacting with the dogs. Of course, she has all her shots now, so she can kind of get down and dirty a little bit. And we don't have to worry about things like Pavo, other things that she can catch in the yard. It's very important that you wait until your dog gets all of their rounds of shots before you just let them get off up in there, guys. I can't stress that enough. Which, mind you, all my grown dogs are up to date on their shots. Don't get me wrong. Every single last dog on my yard is up to date with their shots. But... I do what makes me sleep good at night. So I just like to wait. I like to baby my puppies until they get a certain age, until they get certain vaccines. So that's how I've been doing it with all of them. I'm not gonna change what I've been doing. It's been working thus far, so we're gonna keep it going. I think the next one we're gonna let out is, we're gonna let Dollar out. We got a lot of trust in my big boy. You guys give me one moment. You know he's, his cage got a little talking caution. So give me one second, we're gonna get him up out of here, guys. Catch you in the next scene. All right, guys, as you can tell, Dollar has been let out of his cage. Of course, he's coming over here, gonna sniff out a little bit, make sure she's fine, then he's gonna go on about his business. I don't know, guys, I, I like to introduce my males to my females first, my females to my males first. I just feel like it makes things a lot easier. I mean, you know, not to get into you know what i'm saying touchy subjects but i just feel like that's the way it's supposed to go that's why it's a lot easier but hey we'll see so far as everything's going good they're just sniffing her out getting to know her a little bit that's all i think the next one we're going to let out is going to be zoop you know the next one we're going to let out is going to be my main man chew Y'all can tell those two have been interacting with each other for quite some time now. They do pretty good. They just sniff each other out, Dollar and uh, Zoop. They do pretty good. We haven't had any big grudge matches yet. Oh my you guys can tell, it's nice. Probably about like at 11 o'clock in the morning, sun shining real good. Haven't quite hit the heat of the day yet, but good time to do what we do best. Go ahead on and take care of our maintenance. Let the dog run out. 
Look at that boy over there, man. Look at that boy. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I think I'm gonna get these boys situated. Then we'll focus on the girls last. I'm gonna let them interact with uh, Pilato as well, but I'm gonna do it one by one. I'm not gonna let both of them out. Like I said, and I like to introduce my males to my females first. I like to do my females to my males first. That's just how I always have done it, and it always has worked for us here at Davis Rottweiler. So that's what we're gonna continue to do. As you guys know, Nova from Big Mervyn Kennels has went home. So I was able to introduce these two males to each other. And man, they did tremendous. We didn't have any problems. We didn't have any problems at all. So we're gonna try to keep it going, guys. I know you guys have seen me clean the kennels multiple times. So I'm gonna go ahead on and do what I do best. And I'll catch you guys in the next scene. Make sure you guys stay tuned. We appreciate you here at Davis Rock Rollers. Let me go ahead on and get the pooper scooper and get these things tightened up. And then we'll catch you in the next scene, guys. Yes, sir. Y'all see that girl relaxing and chilling? Y'all see Zoot? All right, guys, went on ahead and did what I had to do. Got all the pins situated, at least all my males. We got all the male pins situated. Got the water buckets topped off. Uh, got the pins cleaned out, so everything's straight with that, guys. Everything's straight with that. So good, every so far, so good. Everything's going pretty good. Uh, the male dogs, they ain't they ain't jumping on Lotto. They letting her pretty much chill. Uh, right now they're just trying to cool off. Like I said, guys, it's um looking at about 12 o'clock in the afternoon, reaching that peak, reaching that peak. Uh. I got the dogs out kind of early today because I got to go run some errands in town. So while I'm out here getting everything situated, at least for the morning prep, I figured I'd let them come out and interact with each other, guys. But the boys, they, they holding it down, man. They, they holding it down. One thing about that boy Zoot, boy, he feel like when that camera on, boy, he got to jump up on you and be all up in your face. We love it, though. We love it here at Davis Rock Rollers, guys. Oh, yeah, guys, another thing that we started doing. Normally what I used to do, I used to, you know, clean out their pens, do, do my daily maintenance, I ain't gotta go through all that. And I used to grab their food bowls and I used to go inside the house and I used to, you know what I'm saying, fill them up one by one, carry all the food bowls out to the kennels. Hopefully that this one right there don't jump on me and knock them all down. But we put a new thing in rotation here, guys. We put a new thing in rotation. We got these uh five gallon buckets, five gallon buckets. You see what they was originally used for, but they come with a nice seal, tight seal. And what we do now is we store the dog food in here. I got two of them. We store the dog food in here. And then we go around, you know, I, I grab this bucket and I go to each uh, kennel one by one, top off their food. And then once we're done, we seal it back up and we put it right here. Uh -huh. As of right now, this has been working great for me. It's saving me a lot of time. It's making things a lot easier. Now, mind you, when Lotto does get moved outside, this will be her kennel. Not sure how it's going to work once she gets out here. I'm going to have to come up with a different plan. But as of right now, guys, everything is working good. And um, like I said, guys, it makes my job a, a little bit easier. I mean, the work is still the work. It is what it is. But all the going back and forth inside the house, outside the house, worrying if, you know, one of the dogs are going to knock over the bowls. I don't have to worry about that now. At least I don't have to worry about them knocking over them all. So that's just something that we that we put in play here at Davis Rock Rollers, guys. Just figured I'd share it with you guys. Woo! All right, guys, went on ahead and let Nina out the cage. Gonna check out these two, see how they interacting. Like I say, uh, Nina is a very, uh, she's the oldest dog on our yard. A very mature female, a lot more calmer than Xena. Nothing against Xena. They're gonna get a chance to meet each other as well. But, you know, I'm gonna introduce the females one by one. A lot of times, what I have experienced in the past, you know, if you let out the females, I don't know, this is just me. You let out the females that's already been on the yard and you introduce them to a new female. It's kind of like two against one, three against one, or whatever your ratio is on your yard. 
But like I said, Zena, Nina is very cool, calm, and collective. As you guys can tell, Lotto's a very smart young female. I mean, it's hot out here, guys. I mean, look at my face. I'm sweating. Uh, I'm, I'm shining like somebody hit me with Amaral. And, you know, she's up under the truck where it's nice and cool. Of course, Zena goes, Nina goes to do what she does, and she gets under the truck with her. They already didn't smell each other out in the ideal of one another. So I think she's I think everybody's gonna get along great guys. I think everybody is gonna get along great. I know if you guys can really see her from here. Everybody's gonna get along great. So, this is what it's about, guys. This is what it's about, man. Um we're growing here at Davis Rock Rollers, guys. We're expanding, we're getting bigger, we're getting better, uh, we're getting uh reaching out to different kennels, seeing what they have to offer. I feel like, you know, every dog that we have added to our camp thus far has made our program better. Started off with Nina, did a breed and got Xena. Then I got Dollar because we needed an in-house male. I got tired of, um, I, I got tired of kind of depending on other kennels to, to, to move me forward. Far as paying stud fees, um, trying to make sure I get my females to their to the stud dog that I choose at the time at the right time. So I said to myself, man, I got to go ahead on and get me a male, you know, that's gonna, you know, make my process a lot easier, you know, and I got dollar, man. Ever since I got dollar, it's like, you know, my, my, everything has changed from studying. Um, he has been studded out to two females. He's been studded out to Zora from Wilson's Rock Rollers. He's been studded out to Nova from uh, BMK, Big Mervin's Kennel, twice. So that's three studdings, and we might have some more things lined up, guys. So like I said, man, he's he's definitely had has enhanced our kennel and made it to where, you know, our kennel can take care of itself. Because when we have puppies here at Davis Rock Rollers, we invest back into the business, guys. We invest back into the business, whether we're doing concrete slabs, uh, roofing, new uh, drop cages for our dogs. And of course, as you guys can tell, adding new dogs to our kennel. Uh, I spoke on this a while ago, but you know, just keeping it on you guys' mind. Right now, everything that we add to our kennel right now is probably gonna be females. So we can keep up with the supply and demand. And then not only that, so we can get some great bloodlines. Check out that girl Lotto, y'all. That girl gonna be a problem when she get older, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Just let my girl Zena out. Just let Zena out. What's up, big baby? Good girl. Good girl, big baby. Good girl. We got Zena and we got Lotto. Lotto and Zena. Of course, they're gonna sniff each other out just like the other dogs, guys. That's totally normal. They're getting to know one another. That's what it's about. That's what it's about, guys. Boy, it's hot out here in Florida, boy. I don't know about nowhere else, boy, but it's hot out here in Florida. But this what we do it for, though. We ain't scared of no heat. We got to get this stuff done. You tell all the other dogs they scrape, they chilling. Go ahead on and tighten up on what I need to do. Get this thing started. What's up, mama? You hot? Get you some water, too. Got to make sure these dogs stay hydrated, guys. You got to. No ifs, ands, and buts about that. Keep it on, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Let me get the cleaning out of the cage. Tightening up her water bottle, filling up her water. Go ahead on and put her some food in it for the morning and we'll catch it in the next thing, guys. All right, guys, we got everything situated. Everything situated for our morning duties. Gotta make sure all the dogs, water buckets are topped off. Make sure they got some feed for throughout the day. Making sure they all cool, calm, and collective. Everything's scraped. We appreciate you guys for watching. We're gonna go ahead on and get ready to sign off. We got Lotto under there up under the truck in the shade. 
I'm getting ready to go ahead on and clean up and do what I got to do for the rest of the day. Um, we're going to go ahead on and sign off, guys. Appreciate you. Peace. Catch you next time.